Hi, I'm Gabriela Pachu, CEO at Before Finance. Before Finance is the European leader in digital fundraising and onboarding solution for alternative investment fund managers. European long-term investment fund regulation came into application in 2015, so it's not new. It was adopted by the European Council and uh, it is supposed to give the opportunity for long-term investment funds to have the European passport and also a couple of requirements that they need to comply with the AFM directive. Now, what is new on this type of long-term investment is that they are open to retail investors in addition to the professional and uh, corporate investors that was already the case for the already existing funds. If you look at the statistic, it was a modest success. Only 80 funds have been opened under relative regulation since 2015. And the big barrier actually to this was that it was supposed to be open to retail investors. The minimum amount required is 10,000 euro, but the threshold to be respective of 10% of your total investment in the financial assets is actually not something that was in line with the retail investors. If you do a simple math, you realize that it's mostly suitable for high net worth individuals so the promise to open to retail investor is not there. Now, in order for uh, you to make sure that the LTIP is a success, the market actually worked for the past years to improve actually this regulation. Luxembourg had a very big um, contribution to those negotiations that were a success in October last year, where the new LTIP 2 regulation came into application. And the main change of this regulation was the removal of this 10% threshold. And so new opportunities can come with new challenges. Uh, if we look at the statistics, we expect to have over 100 billion euros raised in the following five years through the ALTIF instrument. Now, of course, you would need to attract that. So there are challenges for the investor relationship managers that would need to approach retail investors through different distribution channels as the ones that we are using for professional investors. Now, from an operational standpoint, if we take into consideration that lower amounts would have bigger volumes of investors, Transfer agents will need to look into solutions to address these bigger volumes. If you look at what happens today, a couple of dozens of investors are being invested in each fund. Now we are expecting thousands of investors to be invested in LT funds. And of course, there is a third challenge, uh, not the least, that is that you need to be more um, didactive actually to explain what is an alternative investment fund and what are the risks of having a long-term investment and making sure that the portfolio of those investors are diverse enough to have liquidity. Technology is key to address those challenges and make sure that the distribution of the LT funds is a success. But when it comes to challenges, we saw that there were two main challenges. One, it's related to subscriptions, and one is related to the operational processes. For the subscription itself, you want to make sure that your investor is in the center and that feels comfortable about the user experience that you're giving and about the information that you're giving to him for the fund that he's investing with. Now, from an operational perspective, there are a lot of controls to be made and of course for a bigger volume of investors. And you want to make sure that the quality is still there. So the automation is key to make sure that your processes, KYC, AML, are being addressed. And that is being addressed, of course, through the automation screening, through the ID checks, and the automated scoring matrix, then of course only a technical solution can offer.